Hello friends, welcome to the video series on interview question for SQL PL SQL developers. So in this video, we are going to learn about what is data integrity, what is constraint and what are all the types of constraint in Oracle database. To start with, let us understand what is a data integrity. Whenever we are creating a database application, we will be storing the business related data inside the database. So the data what we are going to store inside the Oracle database should satisfies the business rule. For example, if I am going to create a student application, then all the data whatever I am going to store inside the database should satisfy certain rules. For example, I am going to store some student related information. So the register number what I am going to store inside the student table should be unique for each student. And suppose I am having a gender column, it should allow only two values like either M, R, F or null. So no other values are allowed. So there is a date of joining column. So the date of joining column should allow only a date and also the date should be less than or equal to the current system date. The date of joining cannot be in a future date, something like this. Then there is like a department name column. I want the user to insert only the valid department, something like a triple E, EC department, CSE, IT. So no other junk value should be allowed. Only a few specific set of values only are allowed in this column. Suppose if there is like an email ID column, I want to allow only the valid email address. I don't want to insert any junk. So like this, these are all the business rules. So whenever I'm going to insert a data into a table, I want the data to satisfy some certain set of business rule. So adherence to the business rule is called the data integrity. So data integrity is nothing but ad adherence to the business rules determined by the business users or the developer or the database applications. This is what the data integrity means. There are many different ways by which we can enforce the data integrity. So what I mean by enforcing data integrity means whenever I'm going to insert or whenever I'm going to store the data inside the Oracle database or for example, any relational database, I want the data to satisfy these rules. There are many different ways by which we can enforce these data integrity rules. So here are like few of the methods by which we can enforce the rule. So primary uh, method is whenever we are going to create a database application, definitely there will be some UI or a user interface through which the users will be keying in the data and that data will get stored in the database. So we can implement the validation in the UI layer itself. The application itself can validate whether the data is as per the expected, then the validated data can be stored inside the database. This is one of the method. The next method is we can create a trigger inside the database so that anytime whenever we are doing a DML operations like insert or update or delete, the trigger will get fired and within the trigger we can check whether the data that is going to get inserted or updated or deleted is as per the expected business rule things. The next layer uh, way is we can write a function or a stored procedure basically to check whether the existing data is as per the business rule. Otherwise we can create a list of error report and then we can go and correct the data. And the last way to implement is using the database integrity constraint. So integrity constraint is one such way to enforce the data integrity. Okay. So the constraints are a way to enforce the data integrity constraint. And in fact, this is very easy to implement the constraint. Okay. So in short, constraint validates the data for the business rule before the data getting stored inside the table. So there are a few advantages of using the constraint. The one of the main advantages, it is very, very easy to implement because we are going to create these constraint as part of the table definition itself. So it is very easy and a through a declarative SQL statement, we can create this constraint. The next advantage is that it is in a central place. So a data comes from any different method has definitely has to go through these constraints so that the constraint will get validated. The third advantage is it is very flexible because sometimes if you don't want the constraints to be enforced, then what you can do for time being, you can just disable the constraint and then if needed, you can just go and enable the constraint. So these are a few advantages of constraint. Now let us see what are all the types of constraint in Oracle database. 
Okay, so these are the primary types like not null constraint, unique key constraint, primary key constraint, foreign key constraint, check constraint, and ref constraint. We will talk about all these constraints and all the interview questions related to all these constraints in the subsequent videos. But if you have any questions related to any of the constraints, you can post it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail ID so that whenever I'm recording the related video, I could include all your questions. Before posting your question, you can check whether a similar question has already been answered as part of the subscriber question series or as part of the interview question series. If you are not able to find your question here, please write back to me. I will be happy to record and post as a new video. If you have learned something new, please like this video, subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video, interview question, SQL practical question and concept videos and thanks a lot for watching this video. Please click the bell icon if you want to receive instant notification whenever new videos are uploaded into this channel. Thank you.